What it do, it's your boy Drew Blue here. Um, so I'm just pretty much giving my artist review for Elijah Blake, man. Um, so in case you didn't know the backstory about how I found about him, basically, don't want to say about man, what year was it? But when Jesus Peace came out, because at the time I was still listening to the game, um, I heard the song Freedom, and Elijah Blake was the feature on it, and he killed that hook so bad, man, with that falsetto, like, it was so clean, um, instantly was like, you know what, I'm gonna be looking up some music from him, and then this project right here, Blueberry Vapors, was the first one that I checked out, and I was really impressed, man, like, this dude had some sort of, like, swagger that was unique and different, man, like, you could go from one song to another, and, like, it still felt like each song was connected, but they were all different from one another, like, you know, like distant relatives or something like that, and I really, really was into his music, man, I really was, um, I went back in the past, checked out a few projects, Shadows and Diamonds grew on me big time, um, Bijou 22, definitely love that, we'll play from time to time, but like, after Blueberry Vapors, I felt like, you know, he kind of like stopped doing that experimental stuff like he really was experimental with not only his music production but like the way he would tackle each song and how he would kind of like do his own thing you know and just kill it like he'll just sing crazy you know like go all out and it was dope but then like i don't know after that like he just kind of like mellowed down and stayed chill and he wasn't making songs like this that would just blew your mind bro and like the song I'm playing right now zoning <sighs> fire baby fire uh, personally me I would love to see him come back to this kind of like mentality and then, who knows maybe he does a blueberry vapors too or you can call it strawberry vapors don't matter but either way I'd like to hear him kind of get on these type of beats where he was really tackling different times kinds of genre and like wasn't afraid to just be experimental and just go crazy with it, you know? That's what I miss from Elijah, man. Um, I really feel like Blueberry Vapors is definitely going to be my favorite project in all time. And like, it's just one of my top 10 like projects from any other artist that I've ever listened to, man. So, if I ever do compile a top 10 project list, Blueberry Vapors has to get on it. But, you know, like, don't get me wrong. He has grown as an artist and he has, like, really found a sense of maturity in some of the songs that are very chill, mellow, nonchalant, but I feel like this is when he's at his best. It's just when he really is random and he's not sure what he wants to do. And he just goes on one song and does another song and kind of like, you know, just rolls with it for the moment. So I feel like he's really good at music like this. Um, listening to the Holiday Love, the latest project that he's dropped, it's pretty interesting and pretty dope. Um, he kind of, it seemed like he kind of was returning to that form just a little bit, which was really cool, you know, songs like, I believe, what was it called, I don't know if I have it on this, no, I don't have it here, but songs like Snowed In, um, Flames to the Rose, you know, there was one more track, was it called something Jones but like it was pretty dope you know he wasn't afraid to like just tackle different types of beats and songs and I felt like that was cool that was like a little bit better than what I heard from ideology and um, b 23 which really were both chill kind of like almost one track mentality kind of like thing like or like one type of beat mentality and he was kind of like staying to similar grounds 
So, you know, it's cool if you're gonna go mellow for one or two songs, like how we kind of did here, but mix it up, man. Give us like a variety, kind of like flavor, man. I think that's what's dope, man. You know, he's at his best really when he's just tropical and all that, you know? But um, we'll see what he does going forward, man. Um, I know he's been independent. I think before um, he signed with, I think, was it, who was it that he signed with, Atlantic Records? When he dropped Shadows and Diamonds, and then after that, I believe he went independent and kind of did his own thing. Um, but either way, though, I'm hoping that he gets back in that creative experimental mode and does songs like this where he just... He's all over the map, man. Because that's when it makes it the most fun to listen to. Because I was jamming to this project all the time when I first heard it. <laughs> that first year, forget it. It was all locked in, man. But yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever he drops, man. And he's got a lot of, like, personal stuff that he's talked about in his music, too. Which I feel like some people can relate. Especially, like, some very, very sensitive stuff. I'm not going to talk in here. I'd rather you hear it from him himself because I think that's the best way really for you to hear it. Um, you know, and it's just man's privacy. I'm not going to really put his business out like that. Um, but yeah, it was fun listening to him. I know it took me forever to complete Elijah Blake. I don't know why, for God reasons, that I wouldn't even know that. Like, but we finally completed it. Biggest artist who I'm probably gonna cover on this list or in this artist series. And he's none other by the name of Tory Lanez. Yeah, we're finally gonna do him. Now, as far as the first project that I wanna do with him, I'm not sure if I wanna do one verse killer and then we'll go all the way back and do that. But, I mean, I'll think about it though. I know I wanna cover a couple projects projects that I haven't really listened from him, like the earliest project I could probably go back is Mr. Peterson, because that's actually some original music that he's dropped, and I'd rather cover original music that he's made, rather than some stuff that kind of like were just freestyles over the same kind of beats that was already been made, you know, there's a lot of upcoming artists that do that, like their first mixtape or something like that, which is be covers on, you know, previous hits that was released and shit like that. But that's not what I'm here to do, you know, like, I want to actually, you know, cover some new content. So I might do that. I might do the first, the first, um, episode will be on Mr. Peterson, and then we'll go from there. I think it'll be fun that way. But yeah, I look forward to doing the Tory Lanes, man. I've been really wanting to do them for our longest. Um, everything. with one song but let me see if I do this one should I wear my hat like this so you guys really um, looking forward to that because Tori is definitely a guy where I'm like a lot of projects I really really love and I feel like he's at his best and he's really the greatest he could be the greatest artist in the world if he wants to be and then there's projects where I'm like why do I even fuck with you in the first place you know like, it's gonna be interesting <laughs> but um, one thing I'm glad for is that Elijah Blake didn't do that. He's always stayed true to himself, and really, you can't ask more for that. You know, more than that from an artist. Because at the end of the day, what you put on your art is what really defines who you are. And you know, hey, got nothing but love for Elijah Blake. Man. That's all I'm gonna say. And really, he's the yang, or no, he's like the yin to Johnny Rain's yang. Um, he's one of, in my opinion, one of the big leaders or who's going to be one of the biggest pioneers for the uh, movement of Alton and R&B. Like, that's going to be a hit huge in the 2020s. So, be on the lookout for Elijah Blake. He's definitely going to be making some heat coming soon. Like, I feel like he's just scratching the surface. And I feel like if he goes back to the blueprint of Blueberry Vapors, man, yeah, he's going to blow the game away. Um, yeah, I could definitely see Elijah Blake, Johnny Rain, and Tory Lanez being the big headliners for the Alton R&B movement. 
But yeah, that's really all I got to say. Um, other than one more thing, if I get any, uh, if, or if he drops anything new, I'm just going to be like doing first time reactions. I'm not really going to include it into the Vibe Out Sesh. Um, in case people don't know, the Vibe Out Sesh really is just focused on songs that I enjoyed listening to and kind of like want to bring some more, I don't know, you know, some rec more recognition, you know what I mean? Wait, I don't want to make this too long. Like, listen to this right here. He's really talented, man. He can really sing, and he can really tackle multiple genres so well. <laughs> there you guys have it I just wanted to just Let the man sing out for a minute He definitely deserves it um, But yeah, check out his music I definitely say If you never listened to Elijah Blake before And you really want to take my recommendation Search Blueberry Vapors You can find it on datpiff.com live, Livemixtapes.com just download this project like you can't miss out like there's nothing that won't be ever wasted like you got nothing to lose and so much to gain listening to this project that's all i gotta say it's your boy drew blue signing out um look forward to doing the next series on tory lanes all right y'all stay safe and blessed out there deuces ah!